two, three. Hi folks, me again. Today I thought I would um, show you how to use the digital readout I made for my thicknesser and also show you how I made it. Obviously I don't I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make it again because I've only got the one thickness there and I don't really want to take it off. But I'll show you in as much detail as I can and I'll explain it in as much detail as I can. Um, it, using it is easy. Um, it's a lot. I, I think it's a lot easier than the than the ones you can buy for specifically for them. I think it's a damn sight easier. Um, little. It's not. It's not going to win any awards for looks, but it does a job. So I'll turn the camera around and we'll have a go. We'll have a go. Okay, as you can see, this is my um, thicknesser. It's an old Berlan. Okay, and now I think this Berlan has got exactly the same specifications as the machine marked cheap one. Okay, and this is my digital scale, digital scales right there. Okay, now to use now. I'll, first of all, I'll explain how I how I um, made it, and then I'll talk about using it. Okay, first of all, what I've done. <coughs> Is I purchased myself a, I've purchased myself one pair of digital calipers. Now these I got from eBay for five pound eighty nine p, with in, that's including delivery to any UK mainland address. It comes from um, all right, it comes from Japan, but I've had no problem with them. Okay, so with my digital calipers, I also, if I can get it down here, I also went out and bought, this is a sample pack, but you need to buy yourself some of these glue sticks, hot, glue, hot melt glue sticks. You can get them from www.gluegunsdirect.com. And there's a part number up there, 1942 slash 12, and these come in quantities of 300. This was a sample pack because I bought something else from them. Okay, now this, these hot melt, hot glue, hot melt glue sticks, they have um, fair to good addition for metal, so they're reasonable. Okay, now. I'm not using my normal camera folks because it's um I've got to take it apart. Something's wrong. I think there's something wrong with the recording head, but I've got to I have to have a look. So I have to make do with this one. Okay. Now I don't know if you can see I'm gonna try and do it as much as I can. I don't know if you can see there where I'm pointing. That's just a bog standard nut. Okay? I put just hot glued a nut onto the side of my thickness okay the part that doesn't move down in the bottom okay now the reason for that is because you want to bring the calipers away from the thickness so it will slide up and down let me just turn on the side and show you as you can see it's away from them and there's a nut um, let me see if I can show you in there's a nut in there I'm pointing to it there okay now when I was happy that the nut that the hot melt glue is dry okay i obviously i put a lot more more than i needed of hot melt glue around the outside just to make sure it is doubly doubly secure okay now when that was done that is that is glued and all the glue has gone off i put some more hot melt glue on it and then i just sorry before that i made sure i got a um ruler and I just put my ruler on like so, like that, okay, which then gave me here, as long as I got the bot the top of my bottom pincers touching the underside of my ruler, I knew that that was the exact top of the base of my bed, okay. So, with this secure on there, Okay, what I done is I just put a dab of hot melt glue in onto the um, nut, and then I got and then I pushed the digital the calipers on, held it in place for about a minute, couple of minutes until I was satisfied that it had been it was glued. 
and then I put obviously some more hot melt glue around here just to be doubly sure okay now the top pincers what I call them okay the ones that are connected to the actual display okay you have to make sure that they are secured to the part of the thicknesser that rides up and down okay now now what I've done on that I took the original pointer off which uses this stuck on scale and I use the nut that came out and I just replaced it with a bracket okay now there again the bracket I made I put a couple of um, a couple of bolts in there just to bring just to lift the bracket away from the surface so it is it fits snugly behind the pincers of the caliper okay and again put hot melt glue on making sure making sure that when the caliper that the bracket does not obstruct the calipers from going all the way down like so okay and then again making sure that the hot melt glue does not interfere with the with the pincers of the caliper opening and closing okay so in a nutshell you want the bottom pincers to be you want the bottom pincers to be fixed to the side of your machine and the top pincers at the same level sorry the bottom pincers at the same level as the top of the bed and the top pincers have to be fixed to the part of the machine that rides up and down okay now to use okay all you do is say for instance I want to reduce some stock to say 20 mil okay I have to get up for this okay I'm making sure the pincers are, t are closed I turn my digital scales on make sure it's reading zero right so and then I just whoop, wrong way, turn it up until I get to 20 millimeters. A bit too much. And uh, there you go. That'll do me for this demonstration. And then when I'm happy that it's where I want want my my final cut. I just zero it, then I can carry on winding it up, like so, then I feed my stock through, turn it on, feed my stock through, then, re then reduce it a little bit, and so on and so forth, keep feeding the stock through until your calipers read zero or whatever you want, and that is all, that is how simple it is. Um, so there you go I mean um, most people have got digital digital calipers knocking around if you haven't you can buy them off eBay for under six quid so that's all it is and uh, you know as you know me by now I like to um, I like to make things as easy as possible um, if you want some pictures I will take some just let me know and I'll take some pictures as given as much detail as I can but hopefully I've explained it in I've, hopefully I've explained it well enough that everyone can everyone can follow okay don't forget to message me if you want anything and uh, please subscribe cheers <laughs>